Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. A couple of days ago, Ubiquity released Unify Protect application 4.1.50. As the time I'm recording this video, it's still in release candidate, but when you see it, it will be in the general release. This brings us quite a few new features, such as archiving to a NAS and then Alarm Manager. We're gonna go through most of this list within Unify Protect, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is the Alarm Manager, which allows us to create different notifications. If we look down in the bottom left-hand corner, you would see this Alarm icon, which is the manager. If we click on that, it's gonna bring up a whole bunch of different things. On the left hand side we could select the device we would see all critical or detections and then on the right hand side we could create an alarm and then view my preferences this is the workflow that it would do it would do a trigger person vehicle or whatever you want and then it would send out a notification from there you could add a webhook and then do some automation we're not going to get really deep into this but i will create an alarm so to create alarm we're just going to click on this button here and then we could give it a name. I'm just gonna leave it at new alarm for now and we need to select a definition. So we'll click on select. From the definition, we could choose a bunch of different things. We could do detections, recognition, doorbell, and sensors. Let's go ahead and do recognition. And we're gonna do known faces and we're gonna do known license plates or vehicle of interest and press save. Now under the definition, we could also add more if we'd like by clicking manage and then put whatever we want into that definition. And then under our target, this is what devices we want it to include. Right now, I have it set to all of my devices, all of my cameras, or we could exclude some things. And then we have the schedule. We could do it always or on a custom schedule. I'd like this to be on always. Now we have a couple different actions that we could do. We could send a notification. We could do a web hook. We could play a sound. We could turn on a light or we could unlock a door and a gate. And then we have who's gonna receive these notifications, which is all of our admins. If we click edit receivers, it will show us that we have Mac Telecom test, we have somebody else, and then we have my main account. And then we have default content and custom content. I'm just gonna leave that at the same, but if we wanna add a different action, we could do that as well and then keep adding them as we wish. I'm gonna create this alarm and then we should be good. Now I'll go deeper into alarm manager in its own separate video because there is a lot that we could do with this. Next up is the ability to archive our footage to a NAS and this is a great new feature. So how we go about doing that, we go down to our settings wheel and then we're gonna see our archiving accounts. By clicking on add account, we could see we have Google Drive, OneDrive and now we have that NAS. So I'm gonna click on the NAS and then we're gonna press next. At the top, it asks for your IP address or the domain of your NAS. It's gonna be port 445 and then we need to put in the username and password. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Once we have the username and password in, all we need to do is press connect. Okay, it says our NAS server is connected. Please select a shared drive to archive the recordings. A folder name Unify will be created automatically. I'm gonna scroll down and then find that Unify account and we're gonna press confirm. So now that's it to setting up our NAS for our archiving. If we want to archive, we could go back to our dashboard and then we could see right here, video archiving and then export. We could select the cameras that we wanna to export to and the time frame, and then we could push it out to our NAS. This is a great new feature. I do hope they automate some of it based on our triggering or aren't smart person detections. The next feature we're gonna look at is the shortcuts and we could access this directly from the dashboard now, just on one camera if we expand it. So I'm gonna to go to my front door and we could see that we have add shortcuts. The cool thing about this, if you're running Unify Access on your UMVR or if you have it on your UDM Pro, UDM Pro Max, UDM SC, we could click on shortcuts and then we could click anywhere. So I'll click at my front door and then instead of adding a camera, I'm gonna add an access location. And we have a front door access right there and we're gonna press save. Now what we could do, we could unlock the door right from this page. So I'm gonna click on this icon and I'm gonna click unlock. And there was a beeping sound right beside me because that's where my little access altar is sitting right now. Another thing that we could do from the dashboard is we could reorder our cameras just by dragging and dropping. So if I wanna move this right gate to the left-hand side, all I need to do is click and hold and then drag and drop, and you could see the camera's moving position. This is really, really nice. I'm glad they added it in. Now, if we look under the detections page, they've added this AI detection confidence. So if we look here, it's saying that vehicle, 76%, that's what it thinks it is. And then this is a person at 94%. Now, this next feature, a lot of people have been asking for, and it's for the Unify Chime, and we could now do custom sounds. So that's awesome. 
we can see that my doorbell is paired with the front door. And if we click on our settings wheel and we scroll down to our paired chimes, we can now see these chime tones. It does come with the default traditional sun drops and then express line. I'm going to go ahead and go over to soundbuttons.com and I'm going to pick this theme, which is the Halo opening theme. I'll play a little bit of it for you. Oh. Now we have our custom sound. We could go ahead and we could repeat the amount of times. I'm just going to do it at one and then we could test the tone. And the last thing that I'm going to mention in this video is for our Unify Protect viewport. There was an update for it at 1.4.6. This is still in release candidate at the time of this video, but should be general when it's out but they have finally added the ability to de-warp cameras. We haven't had that up until now. So with our AI Thetas, the 360 lens, as well as the AI 360, this is a great new feature that people have been asking for since the AI 360s came out. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this new Unify Protect application update. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.